everyone. Welcome back and happy Tuesday. Oh, it's Tuesday, guys. Okay, guys. So we have lots to talk about, lots to discuss. Now, before we jump in, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And um, we're back to talk about some Real Housewives of New Jersey. So right now, Jason and I are still, as you guys know, there's packing boxes. We're getting things ready. This is going to be a week. And we're trying... And thank God for the moms, like I've said every single day. But before we get into it, do all of those YouTube -y things, smash that like button, show some love, and let's get right into it. All right, guys, so everyone is getting ready for Mother's Day, and this is my favorite Mother's Day gift. This is our Rose Forever. You can go to roseforever.com. We partnered with them. They've been absolutely amazing. Smells incredible. My whole house smells like roses. I have them all over, and this is one of my favorite, favorite companies. So not only do they last for over a year, but the materials that they use and the way that they preserve them, everything's absolutely well thought out and incredible. And anybody I gift these to, they're so happy, especially our podcast winners. So thank you, Rose Forever. If you guys want to get yours for your mothers or for somebody who is like a mother or just a sister or a brother or a friend, use code ADAM40 for $40 off and then use code ADAM accompanied with it for free shipping so you guys can use all of those codes um and i will pin those in the description and in the comment section with that let's get into the jersey of it all ay 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 so thank you to reality blurb dolores catania is not sure Teresa judice and jackie goldschneider's newfound relationship will last while appearing on sunday night's watch what happens live dolores raised questions about the intentions behind her castmates relationship confirmed that Frank Catania met with Margaret Josephs before the season 13 reunion and hinted that Teresa and Jennifer Aiden frequently meet before filming to plan. When asked about Teresa's surprising new friendship with Jackie, Dolores questioned if it was based on a mutual dislike of someone. We don't know what will last. I'm happy to see anyone make up, always. I'm always an advocate for that, but a friendship that's based on the dislike for another person doesn't usually last. Hmm. It has to be a strong foundation, so I just hope it's all for the right intentions, that friendship. Now, after Teresa and Louis were seen discussing Margaret's alleged takedown plot against Louis on the premiere episode on Sunday night, Dolores said that while meeting the meeting didn't happen, she couldn't say what exactly went down. He was invited to the meeting. Was it to take Louis and Teresa down? I couldn't say that, but I can say it was a meeting before the reunion. She then seemed to suggest that Teresa and Jennifer are known to discuss their plans ahead of reunion specials. I have a theory. You cannot practice what you're going to say before you get in the reunion because it throws you off. You can't go on with a script like, Andy Cohen's going to say this and I'm going to say that. But conversations happen, honestly, not with me. Teresa and Jennifer, I've never had conversations with them before the reunion, and they might be more into that kind of stuff, and I'm not into planning things. Now, ahead of the premiere episode of The Real Housewives of New Jersey, rumors began swirling of Teresa's relationship with Frank and the family after she was noticeably absent from his fiance Brittany, her bridal shower, which Melissa Gorga did attend. Brittany and Frank and Melissa, and also Rachel Fuda, were there. Margaret had a wedding. They don't really speak. Teresa and Brittany, they weren't that close. And Dolores explained that moving on to Teresa and Frank, she said they also don't really speak. I don't think there's any animosity between the two of them, but there's just this situation where they're just not that close. They've spoke since the reunion. I think he sat and spoke with Louis since. There's just no friendship and there's no animosity. Now, when Andy then asked if Louis had taken ownership of hiring the PI or threatening Margaret's son at work, Dolores said he did not. He never said it was him. It kind of went away. They stopped asking. They stopped talking about it. Everything went away, and I want it to stay there. Now, looking back at the premiere episode, Dolores reacted to her boyfriend, Paul, Polly Connell's drama with John Fuda. 
I know I had to diffuse it. I think that John came in hot. He's very emotional. And Paul was trying to talk reason with him. I know the group and I know the dynamics and you can't talk when people are emotional. I also know when someone's going to escalate or something's going to escalate and I've been around enough. But as for the rumors about John from his ex-wife, including claims of a past arrest on gun and drug charges, Dolores did seem to take the report too seriously. Mm. I don't believe them. But I think, you know, you do things when you're 18 that you don't really know what you're doing. But also during the live broadcast, Dolores was asked if Teresa should have spoken to John about the rumors at Jennifer Fessler's party. She said, no, that's not possible. Not when something just came out about him and he's already worked up about it. And he's probably saying it came from there. I think that I'm sure somewhere through the party, he got the word that that was being said and he was already worked up about it. But later on the Watch What Happens Live after show, Dolores was asked if Rachel was being petty when she cropped Teresa out of the group photo that she shared on Instagram to promote season 14. And she said, well, I wish she hadn't, but they had done that to her. It wasn't petty. It was retaliation. Teresa cropped out. It was everybody but me, Jen and her. So then Rachel, I'm not big on doing the same thing back, but then it makes you wrong too. And I'm like, being able to say, why do you do that? You can't, you can't say, why'd you do that when you did the same thing? It was her getting back at her for what she was doing. Oi, oi, oi. Well, doesn't stop there. No. I mean, it never stops. This is where it gets fun. I don't know how much of you guys, like how much of this that you guys saw. Um... But if you guys didn't see it, of course, I want to show you guys. It looks like there was stuff that came out. And these were leaked text messages. So let me see how much of this we can show. Present. Share screen. Jen Aiden, we had to pay for the hotels for our glam. She put her glam in a hotel that was half an hour away. It took them an hour with an Uber to get to her every day. Um, boom. Get to her every day with the traffic. It was so sketchy. Her glam was calling other glam saying that how scared they were. We looked up to the hotel and there were some. Okay. Now. And her actions are beyond extreme. The beauty squad girl, she's so sweet. I can't believe Danielle put her in such a dangerous and shitty hotel is what Jennifer Aiden said. And she said $15 a night. Wait till I send you the screenshot and the screen recording. Jennifer Aiden said, that's what she said, and said, ill. It's called the Strat, Roach Motel. Lena was calling at the Motel 6. She's so cheap, screaming. Yeah, and she's not embarrassed about it. Motel 6. Hmm. Okay. The bootleg mama is as cheap as they come. Liked the bootleg mama as cheap as they come. Give me a second. I'm going to tweet that tea, that the tea is true. She broke a glass pitcher. She's one or 10,000% a liability. Also, I'll mention, why do you think that she wasn't at the Bravo? That was a repercussion for the finale. I don't remember if the pitcher broke. I remember she picked it up and threw it at me, but my drink and my salad plate were all over me, and the plate was definitely broken on the floor. Not sure if the pitcher, pitcher broke, but she did throw, which caused a salad plate and a drink to get all over Jen. Notice how she wasn't at the Bravos. Miss, I'm not fucking leaving. I don't care if they fire me. Um, had to sit that one out due to her behavior at the finale. Is that cool? Wow. No, don't do that because those are exactly my words to production and they will know that I gave that to you. Just confirm that she threw the picture and that she refused to leave. I screen recorded my screen recording so you could see the date. It was November 4th when I did that screen recording. She did pick up the picture and picture and throw it at me. Um, I just believe it slipped through her hands. And when she's chunked, chucked it towards me, everything in front of me fell on top of my hair and outfit. She did throw the pitcher, which caused a salad plate and a drink to get all over Jen. Danielle also refused to leave. Notice how she wasn't at the Bravos. 
and just imply, say instead, she was not at the Bravos, knowing how thirsty she is, you know, she would not sit that one down. They probably told her not to go or something to that effect. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So we're leaking information. Things are happening. And that looks like exactly where we stand today. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, guys. I want to hear what you guys think. So pop off in the comment section. If you guys obviously have not gotten subscribed, then make sure you get subscribed. But um, don't forget. In the meantime, while all of the drama is happening, it's Mother's Day. Mm. So check out our roseforever.com collaboration. Use code ADAM40 to get $40 off and pair that with code ADAM to get your free shipping no matter where you get your shipping. This is one of my favorite products. I love it. And it is the perfect gift to give anyone. So I'm telling you, if you don't absolutely love it, call me. Let me know. But you will. Love you guys. See you next time.